Could you tell us a little bit about your latest uh, invention, the stand-up uh, MRI? Yeah, I think, um, Robert, the, the, uh, the product that is achieving the most excitement in the marketplace right now is our new MRI, which we refer to as the stand-up MRI. And uh, what's different about it is allows patient, it allows patients to be scanned sitting up. Uh, and physicians are interested in that because they want to be able to see the human body in its normal position of operation, yes. upright. Yes. And so when they fix the spine, uh, and the surgeons fix the spine, they want to know that the spine is fixed and, and that completely, mm -hmm. and that the spine will perform in the full range of motion that the patient is likely to experience. And, and uh, other aspects of cardiovascular function, the patient says that I, f I feel faint when I'm upright. Mm. Uh, and then we, in the, in the conventional state of the art, we scan him lying down, but you really would like to be able to look at his, his blood vessels in his brain when he's upright. But, you can, but he can't move, right, while you're uh, doing the MRI? Scan. That's right, he can't move, he but can't we, move. Have, we have means for controlling that and seeing yeah. to it that that's not an yeah. issue. But, so, uh, just in general, the surgeons and the physicians are delighted now to have suddenly a product where they can do something they've never been able to do scan the patient in the fully upright position when all his body parts are fully weight loaded the way it is in normal physiology. Mm -hmm. And that was generally not doable in a practice of medicine before the uh, arrival of this new scanner that we've yeah, developed. Yeah, yeah. And it's getting like, it's getting more comfortable. Uh, every, every new invention is more comfortable for the, for the patient. The patients love this scanner because when they come to the scanner they just walk in, sit down and watch TV yeah. on a big 45 inch uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, flat screen TV. Yeah. So it, it, from their perspective it's delightful and, yeah. and there's no, it's, it's totally open, there's no claustrophobia because there's nothing in front of the patient's yeah. face. So you're but trying a TV. to uh, sell that to the, to the hospitals and... Uh... Well, everybody finds it attractive. It's got yeah. obvious medical utility. At the same time, it's very popular with the patients. You know, in the old days, uh, they used to have this tunnel-like uh, MRI, which was so claustrophobic. And uh, before, after that, you had the uh, open MRI, correct? The one that's uh, well. That's not exactly the way it went, though. I, when when we developed the first scanner, we made a tunnel MRI, and that's the one where we did the first human scan with Larry Minkoff and Mike Goldsmith, my students at the State University of New York yes. in Brooklyn. Yes. When we went forward to commercialize MRI in 1978, we developed a new kind of magnet at that time, the open MRI. Mm -hmm. But when the big companies came in, they copied the one that I made with my students the one you call the tunnel, uh -huh. and so the field diverged. We, we continued to pioneer the open and they continued oh. to pioneer the closed. And the closed one is uh, not a success because nobody likes it. Well, nobody likes it, but uh, it was, from GE's point of view, very successful. They sold a lot of them. Oh, is that right? But now I think that we've come to the point that we've got the, uh, the zenith of open MRI because the patient just sits on on the scanning chair and, and, and looks out at a TV. Where were 